Welcome to our MIDI device panels tutorial. Let's start by looking at our pre-configured device panels. Select Devices, MIDI Device Manager. Click the Import Setup button. Cubase uses XML files to store information about device panels. You can find these presets in the Device Maps folder under the Cubase folder. Select Access Virus C, click Open, and click OK. Select your output connection, click the Open Device button, and here you see the Access Virus panel. Close it. Close the Device Manager. Now let's go to the MIDI track and select the Access Virus from the Output drop-down menu. Press the Open Device button and the Virus Control Panel pops up. Click on User Panel. Click here and choose Virus Inspect. Virus is accessible from the Mixer Panel as well. Choose User Panel. Now let's automate these two knobs. Open the Device Panel. Activate the Edit Device Mode. And here we see our knobs. Double click on this one. The control parameter assignment window pops up. From this drop down menu, let's find our control change number. It's control change number 40. And the second knob, we have control change number 41. Close the device panel. Now press the Show Hide Automation button, and from the Parameters drop-down menu, choose More. Expand all Control Change folders, and select Control Change 40. Let's do the same for the second automation track. Control Change 41. Now we activate the Read Enable button. Grab the pen. And let's create some automation. Click Play to see our results. Now we're going to build something like this to control your external MIDI device. Go back to the MIDI Device Manager. Choose the device we just created in the previous tutorial. Click the Open Device button. Select Channel 1. You can double click to rename it. Click Add Panel. I'm going to choose the inspector size and rename it appropriately. Click OK. Now I'm going to create the arpeggiator controls. Select the background from this drop down menu. Drag a background fill here and resize it. Select Knobs from this drop-down menu. Select a knob and drop it here. 
the Control Parameter Assignment window opens. Click Create. Here, type your parameter name and mark, in my case, Arpeggiator Gate Control. Here you can choose the minimum value, the maximum value, and a default value. I'm going to set the default value to 12 o'clock or 63. In the transmission section, you choose the control change from the drop down menu. If you want to create a SysX message or a system exclusive message, click here. Check your MIDI device owner manual for parameter references. You will also need some basic SysX programming skills. Click OK. Double click on the title and rename it appropriately. Click OK. Drag your second knob here. Press Create and rename the parameter. In my case, it's the Arpeggiator Velocity Control. Now I select the Control Change. I'm going to set the default value to 63. Click OK. Double click on the title to rename it. And then click OK. Now let's create an on-off switch. Choose switches from this drop-down menu and drag a switch onto our control panel. Click Create. Rename the parameter. In my case, it's the arpeggiator on-off. Now select Control Change and click OK. I double click the title to rename it. OK. And then I choose Backgrounds from this drop down menu. Let's visually group these controls now. Grab and drop the background here. Right click to background. Right click and to background again. Shift, select your controls, right click, select align lefts, use your keyboard arrows as well to move your controls. Now select labels, grab and drag the label, double click it to rename it. And then click OK. Now let's create a volume control. Drag one more background. By the way, you can create your own background image and import it. Right click, select Import Bitmap. Go to your faders and drag this one. Click Create. Type Volume. Choose your control change. And then click OK. 
Now go to Data Entry and grab one Data Entry field. Instead of creating a new parameter, choose Volume and click OK. Now let's create a label. Volume. Click OK. Align if needed. We're almost done. Let's just create one more panel. Add panel. Channel strip size. Choose the appropriate name and then click OK. Fill in the background. Go to the first panel, shift select controls A object, edit, copy, go back to the second control, edit, paste. Right click, select go to background, right click on the field and select go to background. Now close the panel and click Save. Close the Device Manager. Select Add MIDI Track. Choose My MIDI Device as the MIDI Output Device. Click the User Panel and choose the panel you just created. Now open the Mixer panel, select your U user panel, and select Controls A. And this concludes our MIDI device panels tutorial.